we and the rest of the world continue to hold a light of intention for this election in the United States of America. Just about now, the polls are closing in many states, and we hope that you have voted either by early voting, absentee voting, or have gotten to the polls today. And what a wonderful testament to the suffragette movement that so many people have put their I voted on uh, little decals on Susan B. Anthony's grave. There's much to celebrate in the United States of America, this birthplace of modern democracy. And we hope and we pray and hold in meditation that the process of democracy is alive and well in America, that the system is not broken, that most people will vote and will have their votes counted, and in that uh, we hope that all has gone well for you as you cast your ballot. We will get right to it, knowing that many people want to get back to watching the election results uh, because there are senator um, elections, there are many referendums on ballots this year, as well as the presidential election. And so with that in mind, then, we align. And we do so by a smile, a long, slow, deep breath. We take a moment to settle together, breathing in and breathing out. And then we light our heart and we reach deep to the deep, deep blue diamond white center of the heart. Deep in the blue is a blue white diamond center. It is from that that we light the heart and bathe in its radiance. Then we alight our crown center and we find that deep in the center of the crown itself and that deep there is a white gold diamond. Again, deep at the center of the crown center. We alight it, bathe in its emanations. And as we do so, we might feel a halo igniting around our crown and or the crown center itself, elongating up into the centers of higher will. And then let us come back to the heart and let us feel all the people around the world who are uh, paying attention to the American election and are holding it in the highest light and the greatest good. And let us connect with them heart to heart in this great blue field 
with a diamond center. And just as we have each night, let us also connect with all people around the world by the Crown Center, this center of spiritual will, of spiritual destiny, of purpose itself. So let us connect by the Diamond Crown Center and connect with all people that are holding this election again in light in the highest and greatest good. And then together with all people around the world, let us hold the world in the light of which the United States is a part. It has a soul of love and wisdom and a personality of devotion. And so let us hold that all in the highest, greatest purpose. Let us realize that within humanity, the world holds all nations equal, and so this is a world event. And with all others around the world who are holding this election in light, let us say the mantra of unity. Humanity is one, and I am one with them. I seek to love, not hate. I seek to serve and not exact due service. I seek to heal, not hurt. Let pain bring due reward of light and love. Let the soul control the outer form and life and all events and bring to light the love which underlies the happenings of the times. Let vision come and insight. Let the future stand revealed. Let inner union demonstrate and outer cleavages be gone. Let love prevail. Let all people love. As we say it the next two times, let us hold the truth of light and love on a world scale and for the United States of America within its soul's purpose, because there is a soul to every nation, and it does definitely drive the purpose and the agenda of that nation. And just like a human being who also is a soul and whose life is being driven by the will of the soul, we seem to have our, our difficulties sometimes, but ultimately it is always so that love prevails, so that insight, vision, inner union, all of these demonstrate and are revealed. Humanity is one, and I am one with them. I seek to love, not hate. I seek to serve and not exact due service. I seek to heal not hurt. Let pain bring due reward of light and love. Let the soul control the outer form and life and all events and bring to light the love which underlies the happenings of the times. 
let vision come and insight. Let the future stand revealed. Let inner union demonstrate and outer cleavages be gone. Let love prevail. Let all people love. Humanity is one, and I am one with them. I seek to love, not hate. I seek to serve and not exact due service. I seek to heal, not hurt. Let pain bring due reward of light and love. Let the soul control the outer form and life and all events and bring to light the love which underlies the happenings of the times. Let vision come and insight. Let the future stand revealed. Let inner union demonstrate and outer cleavages be gone. Let love prevail. Let all people love. We invoke the highest light, the greatest good, and the purpose of the soul of the United States of America. Though most ballots have been cast, not all states have their polling places closed. But as we proceed to count the votes, and as one person will win the election and another will lose, let us hold all these processes in the greatest good, in the heart of goodwill, in the brotherhood of peace and well-being. And let us hold the soul of America invocative of the outcome that it chooses to move this nation along. We meditate for 15 minutes in silence.
As we are halfway through our 15 minutes, let us now hold all Americans in the light of their soul. So that no matter what they voted for, or even if they chose not to vote this election, that whatever is the outcome, that all people will see somehow that it is for the greater good. And that we will all learn how to reach across the aisle to speak civilly to one another. And that there be no unrest, but only a goodness in the hearts of all people of America. As kind of idealistic as that might sound, we can hold that intention, hold that vision, hold that probability that America and its population can rise to this occasion, which no matter which person, Clinton or Trump, becomes the President of the United States, either one, it would be a historic event. And so we hold every citizen of America in the goodness of the light of the heart and in the lighted purpose of the diamond will of their own soul. We continue to meditate.
Together, once again, we say the mantra of unity. And as we do, we hold the United States in its position among all the world's nations. And we hold all American citizens among all the world's citizens. We are equal in our roles as human beings on this planet. And we are equal in our capacity for light and our ability to bring forward an excellent future for all of humanity and for all of the world. In that then, let America take its stand, a stand for light, as we hold America in the highest light and in the light of the greatest good. Humanity is one, and I am one with them. I seek to love, not hate. I seek to serve and not exact due service. I seek to heal, not hurt. Let pain bring due reward of light and love. Let the soul control the outer form and life and all events and bring to light the love which underlies the happenings of the times. Let vision come and insight. Let the future stand revealed. Let inner union demonstrate and outer cleavages be gone. Let love prevail. Let all people love. And we close with three arms. Thank you everyone for your meditation, your continued alignment to the greatest good and the highest light. We will be here for two more nights holding this vigil of a lighted election process that includes the outcome, it includes the uh, reaction and response of America as well as the world as whoever will be elected President of the United States, and whatever are the senatorial races and their outcomes, and whether the Senate goes a majority Democrat or stays as it is, and equally so, the many, many ballot referendums that are up in a variety of states. So there's a lot to hold in the greatest light. So I hope to see you for the next two nights as well, as we all hold this in the highest good all through the day. Love you all. Create your day.